Melissa is in Fresno, California. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm doing fine in yourself. Better than I deserve. What's up? The question I have is combined, me and my husband bring in about $5,000 a month. Take home, taxes, take home pay? Yes, take home pay about $5,000 a month between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Now, our bills only amount up to about $2,500, $2,600 a month. Mm -hmm. That's including our mortgage, car payment, everything. Your mortgage but and your car payment. Are, your mortgage and your car payment are how much? Our mortgage is about eight fifty. Our car payment with insurance is about another four fifty. Regular light, electricity, daycare, maybe about another six seven hundred. How many kids you got? Three. Mm, that's low in Fresno. Okay. Yes. So, but our problem is we're trying to figure out where to spend. Don't exactly, I mean, where to say we don't exactly know how. We're still finding ourselves check to check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the problem is you're getting on the wrong side of this. The money's gone, and then you're trying to look back and see where it went. Yes. Instead, you need to tell it where to go before it leaves. And so that's called a budget. And we're going to sit down and write it out. We just did some of it. We said, okay. $5,000, if that's accurate, is at the top of the page. And you need to actually look at your check stubs and make sure that's accurate. No, yeah, that's, that's definitely accurate. Okay, then In that fact, goes at the top of the page for a given month. We Ooh. take out eight fifty for house. We take out your ridiculous, insane car payment of four fifty. We take out your actual daycare, which with three kids... You're saying that and electricity is only 700 That sounds like it's half of what it should be. Yeah, no, that's about what it is. I mean, we get a really good deal on daycare. What do you pay for daycare? For daycare for two children, I pay about $400 a month. The other one is old enough to be in school already. And there's no after-school care? Yes, after-school, but she just goes with family for about an hour. But it's not charged? No. So 400 there. And so you're saying 300 covers your lights and water? Yes. Okay. And what are you spending on food? Who That's knows? That's where it's killer with food. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. And, and you continue to go down the list, and I'll send you some budget forms, okay, to help you remember what needs to be on the list. To mm -hmm. give you just kind of jog your memory of where the money might be going. I mean, you probably have insurance coming out of some kind somewhere. You have car insurance. Yeah, well, car insurance, that's combined in with about the 450 for that car payment. For okay. the other cars, what about gasoline? Gasoline, uh, yeah, gasoline is about another maybe two, okay. 250 a See, month. See, this is what we've got to do until the 5000 is gone. A and the trick is you and your husband look at that and say, okay, these are the things we're going to pay with this money this month, and we're not going to use money for anything else. And so before the month begins, all the money is spent on paper, on purpose. Every dollar has an assignment, has a mission, and you don't let any dollars go out anywhere, you or your husband, except to that mission. Because you're telling me you think you've got room in this budget and you can't find where the money's going. I think you've got room in this budget. I agree. Yes. Um, yeah, I think you're probably have... spending more on food than you realize, number one. And some of this other stuff sounds low still, but, I mean, if you actually know what the bill is, you know what the bill is. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so and let me just tell you, the first month you do this, it'll be wrong. And so you'll get halfway through the month or a week into it, and you'll have to do some adjustments. But at no point can the budget, can the budget formula be any different then income minus outgo equals exactly zero. Every dollar has to have an assignment. And so if you get a week in and you realize we've got to spend a little bit more on food, then you've got to take it out of something else. Because you okay. can't spend more than you have. You're not in Congress. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So and I, th I, I think disorganization and Walmart and Target and raising kids is more expensive than you realize and... And eating out 
are probably eating up the balance of this. I don't think you're being extremely wasteful, but I think you've got a good thousand to fifteen hundred bucks in here. You're going to find a better purpose for as you do this. You will feel like you've gotten a raise when you start making this money behave. Yeah, because that would be our next question. I mean, aside from okay, going through and budgeting, I mean, we only have maybe about a thousand dollars saved up just you know in case in the emergency right well we, we have, got it we got to get on a program of what to do with the money once we find some mm -hmm. and so finding some by being on a plan is your first goal and then what to do with the money we call the baby steps and that's your income and that's the first goal is to have a thousand dollars saved the second goal is start paying off your debts which would include the decision to either pay this car off or sell it what do you owe total on this car What's left on the car is about forty five hundred. What's the car worth? The car's worth about thirteen. You completely got screwed on the interest rate then. Mm -hmm. What are you paying? Eighteen percent? Uh I around around there it's close to around yeah. there. You bought a car you absolutely should not have bought. You got completely messed over with your bad credit and you completely impulsed. And that kind of decision is where your money's going. So uh, get that stinking thing paid off. That would be one of your first goals as soon as we start finding some money is get that $1,000 in there good and solid, and then let's get after the getting them paid off as soon as possible from there. So hold on. What I'm going to do is have Kelly send you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover, which is a book that millions of people have used to do just what you're trying to do. Number one, get in control on our monthly budget, and number two, what to do with the money once we're in control. The budget forms are in the back of that book. And if you want to do a quick, easy online budget, there's a Gazelle Budget Lite, it's called. It's a free tool on our website at DaveRamsey.com for a beginner budget. And it, it helps you do the stuff automatically. So jump in there and learn about that as well. But in the meantime, hold on and Kelly will pick up and we'll get you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover. One of the things I've heard over the 25 years of teaching this material, and I've heard it the most often, is, Dave, when I got on a budget, a written plan, and I told my money what to do instead of wondering where it went, I felt like I got a raise. And that's that, that I've heard that over and over and over again, America. And there's no exception to that. It's written game plan, on paper, on purpose. This is The Dave Ramsey Show.